Hey guys, it's Bob with Bob's Outdoors. Hey, uh, just gonna give you a little update here. Um, haven't made a video in a while. I've been kind of down and out, honestly. Uh, ended up getting a bad cold, and yeah, people still get colds. It's not just all the other thing. But uh, um, anyway, um, sorry about that. Uh, we've got uh, some new uh, new friends here. I'll introduce you guys to. <laughs> this one here, my daughter named, uh, I'm trying to think now, uh, Penny, Penny, that's the name on this one, but, uh, and then that one over there, that is Geraldine, but, uh, anyway, um, kind of cool, pretty fun, um, first time with goats, um, so, I mean, like I was saying the other day, uh, you guys can, all the goat gurus out there can can uh, rip me apart on my setup here. But uh, this is our first time. Um, seems to be working out okay. Everybody seems pretty happy. The goats are enjoying their little deal there. Um, made myself a, a uh, hay feeder here. Um, and maybe you guys that have goats can tell me. Um, you know, I put the hay in here and it's good alfalfa whales. Um, no reason why they shouldn't be eating it. They'll eat it when I first put it in. And then as soon as it starts to turn a little bit, I mean, it starts to lose a little bit of its green, then they won't eat it anymore. And if you look down in here, I mean, it's still pretty green down in there. Um, see now, I mean, when I turn it, they come over like they want to eat it. Um, but uh, I don't know, I can't figure it out. But, uh, and then they also seem to be super picky about the feed I'm giving them too. They'll eat all the corn and oats out of it. Um, and then, uh, yeah, you. But, uh, um, but then they won't uh, eat those pellets. And I don't know, um, the stuff I got this time is from Baumgars. Um, it's called goat and sheep feed um, and uh, I don't know I might have to try a couple other feeds or something but for all the people that say that goats will eat anything I have not found that to be true but uh, um, <laughs> this is kind of funny um, if you quit she's kind of a big baby if, yeah if you quit petting her like she'll paw you and want you to yeah you yeah boy say hi say hi penny but uh anyway uh this one here she's very very tame uh, this little girl back here um she'll she's tame i mean she'll come up to you and she'll eat out of your hand and stuff and um but as far as letting you scratch her or wanting affection or anything like like this one <laughs> she uh, she definitely wants attention all the time but uh, that one over there she uh, she's not so much that way but uh, um, I got my foot up on your deal there sorry but uh, um, anyway so I made this uh, goat feeder um, thank you YouTube for that uh, I did not come up with this myself um, I did uh, change a couple little things um, just to use the stuff that I had on hand, um, but uh, um, but then I also used the other part of that IBC tote to make their little little hut here, and uh, I kind of cobbled that together myself. Um, like I said, you guys can tear me apart, um, but uh, um, anyway, it seems to be working. They seem to use it. Uh, uh, <laughs> Moose, you're gonna get get uh, in trouble there. But uh, um, yeah, it's our wiener dog lab mix moose here. Uh, I know it's a weird combination, but that seems to kind of go with the place. Um, but uh, anyway, um, and yes, these are both girls. But uh, um, got rid of the garden here uh, last weekend, I guess it was. It was pretty much done. Um, it's getting cold. I mean, uh, last night I think it was down to uh, 40, 
40 no it got down to 39 excuse me already um so uh, things things around here are kind of wrapping up for the year um i need to uh one of my projects for this winter is going to be this this fence row here um the people years ago had planted lilacs in here and uh it uh it needs to be thinned out there's a lot of dead stuff in there um the previous owners um they uh they they were in their 90s when uh they had to move out um and then the place sat empty um for a couple years um before we got it and we've only been here just going on two years now um and uh, we love it out here uh but uh there's a lot of work to be done um it's it's been a little bit of a challenge we've had to redo a few things um this guy i don't know if you can see that can down there on the bottom of that post but he loved cans like i i swear i find more cans buried out here um unfortunately none of them have a lot of money or anything in them but uh um I don't, chicken's coming to check things out but uh it's just a regular party out here right now but uh um forgot what i was talking about there oh yeah anyway he uh he buried everything and uh we've hauled trailer loads of just i guess i call it trash i mean um i don't know for sure what he was saving it for but uh some of the stuff i mean i don't know but uh um and then you know they burn their trash you know and the stuff that didn't burn they buried and and uh so it's been uh you know a lot of cleanup but uh i mean he would take take things and make stuff out of them like <laughs> he's got this birdhouse here that's been forever you're here forever and it's got a license plate on it from september of 87. um hope you saw that i'm trying to film this with an iphone here but uh um another issue i've been having out here um and i don't know i think it's the time of year and the combination of everything that we have going on here but uh is uh the flies i mean i put out yesterday i went in and i bought um a couple of these fly traps and put those out <coughs> excuse me um but uh as far as trying to uh tame the fly situation it's been terrible um last year you know we were out here uh trying to lock this gate here but uh um last year we were out here and i didn't feel like we had the fly situation that we do this year um i mean i mean we have added a few things um since that first fall i guess <coughs> excuse me but um you know we've got we've got the goats now which i'm sure doesn't help you know as far as the flies and stuff you know but um the thing that seems to attract these flies the most i would say out of anything is if you look on the ground here um we've got all these crab apple trees that are around here and there's just crab apples everywhere um i mean you, you just can't keep up with it and uh, the flies as those crab apples fall down and decompose on the ground the flies just go nuts and love that and just swarm and and uh, the chicken coop gets full of them and and I put up a fly tape in here too and uh, I put that up last night probably about oh i don't know seven o'clock last night and the thing is loaded with flies already um you know i i don't know i i know here shortly it's going to freeze and uh it's pretty crazy the wind is wind is blowing well as soon as i said something it stopped but uh um that little bush right there one of those leaves was just sitting there going back and forth all by itself but anyway um yeah it's been uh 
been uh, a challenge but talking about the crab apples this will give you a good example of what we're dealing with here um, sorry I'm not real great at filming like this but uh, you look at our driveway here and it's just covered with crab apples you know um, I mean this over here that that's a crab apple tree that's a crab apple tree there's a little one over there I mean, there's two on the other side of the house over there. Um, so all of these, if I would come out here this afternoon, once the sun gets up, um, the concrete here will just be swarming with flies. Um, but uh, anyway, um, that's the situation. I had a comment on my last video um about uh a couple things on my tractor here um i guess the question was about that grill guard and um you can't can't get much simpler than that um as far as what that is uh he wanted to know what uh what i had done and how i had built that what I did was um, this this grill guard here. It uh, all I did is I bought I think it's three quarter inch by eighth inch angle iron, and uh, I uh, this is the stock grill guard that comes on the tractor. So all I did is I just measured, you know, and built a frame, and I've just got a cheapy little uh, Harbor Freight. Um, welder um it's the flux core welder I, ooh, that's really bright there but uh um there we go um and uh bought some expanded metal and uh built the frame made sure the frame fit in fact i'm not even done with it i want to this part down here i don't know if you can see this gap um and then down here even i want to fill that in too but uh for now, when we first moved out here, you know, I was dealing with uh, so many of these trees that uh, needed to come out of here. Um, like this trail here, as I'm standing up on top of the hill by the house, this trail here, you can see where the dog's standing down there, going down the trail right now. Um, that one was completely, completely uh, grown over. Uh, you couldn't even walk down it anymore. and. Uh, um there's a long story with this whole place um we've known the family uh for years i kind of grew up with their grandson and uh um so he was telling me that when he was a kid they used to play down here in this trail you know and uh, at that time you know these trees are massive now um, I mean most of these trees are two foot across pretty close um, and uh, this one's pretty small yet but uh, um, but yeah it uh, he he talked about playing on this trail all the time and I was like there's a trail you know and uh, he's like oh yeah he's like if you go down there he, he's like my grandpa planted those trees you know so that there would be kind of a natural archway you know down through those trees and I mean, it is it is really awesome. We love this trail now that we got it opened back up. Um, but uh, when I was opening all this stuff back up, you know, I got I got the little Coyote twenty or CK twenty six ten, and I knew I was going to need a grapple. <coughs> My dad, when I was a kid, um, owned a tree business, and uh, so I grew up around tractors and grapple forks and chainsaws and all that stuff. So. Um, you know, I knew what I was going to need and, and, uh, um, ended up getting that tractor, but I also knew, um, just with how thick things were that I was going to need, um, some sort of a better grill guard on that tractor because that front end, I don't care what kind of, or what brand you get now. Um, if you buy a new tractor, the, the grill is plastic. Um, I hate it. I, nah, but it, that's just the way it, things go now. Um, the good thing, one thing that sold me on the Coyote was the metal hood and fenders. Um, there's a lot of other brands out there where everything's plastic and junk, um, as far as I'm considered. Um, at least if the 
metal hood dents um, you can make it work you know uh, the John Deere's if uh, you break that hood if it cracks you're done I mean you can cobble it together I guess you know with some screws and strap or whatever you got and um, but otherwise you're forced to replace those parts and um, there's a reason that John Deere is green it's the same color as money and and uh, honestly I I have not been impressed but uh, that's just just my opinion you know you guys can buy whatever you want um, I don't care but with the equipment that I've been around in the, in the years past uh, that's what I've I've found but uh, but anyway, yeah, I knew I was going to need that grill guard, and, and uh, um, it has saved my butt a couple times <laughs> uh, in the past here, um, dealing with all these uh, um, wonderful trees out here. But uh, I'll show you real quickly. Um, we got to walk down the trail here. Um, okay, so about a month ago i suppose um we had a major storm come through here if you watch some of my last videos uh um like this burn pile here this is nothing i mean this this was just stuff that just fell out of the trees um through the past year you know uh, we hauled one out about that same size last year and burnt it over across the the road over there um at my neighbor's he's got an old silage pit that uh he's super awesome and let me take it over there and burn it because i really didn't have a good place uh to do that here um so uh, this this year i plan to burn that myself i'm gonna haul it to a different spot um once we get about a foot of snow on the ground i hope and uh then burn it little by little so I can keep it under control. But this, this spot right here is a sore subject. Um, so you can see I've got this fence line. Actually, technically, I think it's the neighbor's fence line that over the years has been just completely grown over. Um, she does nothing to maintain the property over here. We actually asked her to sell us there. It, basically, this chunk, this chunk over here, is a pivot corner, and we asked her to just sell us the rest of this corner, um, so that we could um, use it. You know, um, it's not being used for anything. It is completely, completely grown over, um, and when that storm hit. Um, what happened was trees her trees came over you can see there's still one broken one up there um that uh, came over and landed on our trees broke a bunch of ours off smashed the fence line um this gal that owns this um she's very successful um has a large business in the t bigger town that's nearby um took her months to respond to me just to tell me that she would not sell this corner to us. Um, she owns property all over, you know, and good for her, you know, I mean, I don't blame her or feel, you know, have bad feelings towards her for that or being successful or anything like that. You know, that's great. You know, that's the American dream. Everybody wants to do that. But, you know, um, I guess my feeling is just because you're successful um, does not mean that you can neglect uh, your property um, and not have consequences, I guess. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong on that, but uh, um, so like I said, this fence line um, is hers, but obviously hasn't been touched in probably 30 years or more um, it got so bad that the renter that she has to take care of this property had to come in he wanted to run some cattle on this oh it's been a few years ago now but uh, um, he put in this line of fence that went out here further and uh, um, you can see I don't know if you can see down there that little T post right there 
Um, and it goes along. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, you can't really see it. Like I said, it's so overgrown. But uh, um, he had to put this other fence line in there just to keep his cattle in because the rest of the fence was so grown over and pushed down, you know. Um, and I'll admit, you know, some of our trees um, that when we bought the place, you know, some of our trees, you know, these branches down here like this had pushed down on that fence also. Um, but, uh, you know, there has obviously been nothing done on her side either, you know, as far as maintaining this. You know, so a little bit at a time I've been trying to fix things up and put things back. And, and after that storm came, um, this, uh, all these trees came down on the fence, came down on our trees. Um, I mean, I still haven't got most of them off of there. Um, but, uh, yesterday or last night, I just decided enough is enough, you know, and I came in here and I cut this fence. Um, right or wrong, that's what I did. Um, I'm going to put in a gate right here. Um, to uh, make it easier um, to maintain this. She does not answer her phone um, when you try to contact her um, unless it's something to do with her business. And uh, she's admitted that she's just completely overwhelmed and super busy and, and all of this stuff. And Nico, hey, come here. Um, but, uh, I don't know. I, I mean, I know technically I'm trespassing or whatever, you know, but, uh, I don't, I don't know what to do. I mean, I can't get a hold of her to ask her to maintain it, um, or tell her what the situation is. So, I mean, it's not like I, I destroyed anything. Um, I'm going to fix that, that fence. Actually, I'm going to just put a gate in. Um, if she doesn't like it, I'll fix the fence back to the way it was, you know, someday. But, uh, um, I've got that fence to fix and I've got that further out fence to fix. Um, that one's just a one strand of barbed wire. Um, nothing, nothing major, but, uh, these dogs are chasing the cat, but, uh, anyway, uh, so, um, so yeah, uh, I'm going to, uh, fix it all, but, uh, you know, I did not destroy anything or any crop or anything like that. I mean, Honestly, the only thing she's got growing over here is ragweed and, you know, good old marijuana, you know. Um, but uh, I, I, what I did is I took the grapple and the root grapple and I went up along this uh, trail here and cleaned out a path just so that I can get up to where these trees have come down onto our property because there's no other access um, going up this way. Um, this time of year I should say um, if I go about a quarter of a mile down um, once the crops are out um, you can see this bean field over here but the guy that rents this um, and this is included in that um, he plants so close to my corner um, up here that there's no way that I can get through here with any kind of equipment to pull these trees out of the ground or out of the fence line and off of my trees and everything else so um so yeah it's it's uh it's a pain in the butt and uh i just decided i'm just gonna do that right or wrong um i'll fix it back up um but this gives you an idea what it was like before i i uh dug this path down through here but uh um and basically all I'm doing is just taking the weeds that were here and moving them to here, you know. So that's the situation. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments uh, <laughs> what I'm doing wrong. But, uh, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's where we're at with this. Uh, you know, I didn't go onto her property any further than just on the other side of these trees where the dogs are standing here. Um, she doesn't come out here. The guy that farms the rest of that where those soybeans are, um, he doesn't uh, do anything with this. There's a guy that comes in here into these trees here 
and uh, um, cuts firewood out of here from the crap that falls down. I mean, there's another tree that fell down over there. And, I mean, they're just everywhere, you know. But uh, um, otherwise, she does nothing with this property. That's why we thought, well, you know, let's make it easier for us and let us do some use that area. Um, you know, we offered to pay her cash for it. We would take care of all the paperwork, all that. She wasn't interested in that. She said that she doesn't like to sell property, which, you know, I guess if I had it, I probably wouldn't want to sell it either, you know. But, uh, um, you know, it's just frustrating. But uh, enough of a rant. Um, I guess I just want to let you guys know the situation. Um, but uh, it, uh, you know, you try to, try to keep your place up, and then, um, you know, you have a neighbor that just, checks out basically and and uh doesn't want to sell it to you but doesn't want to take care of it um so i i took matters into my own hands you know and um you know i guess if that's wrong it's wrong you know but uh it's going to be better than the way it was you know and i plan on fixing the rest of the fence that goes down through here too um but uh my biggest issue right now is these these trees you know and you know the whole reason i guess i got onto that conversation or that subject was that grapple and uh the or i should say the uh um grill guard there we go that's what i was trying to think of but uh um yeah so i had to build that grill guard when we first came out here because like i said we we uh opened this all up um this is going back up towards the house here a little bit, but, uh, um, and yeah, don't mind my junk sitting there. It's the, my diesel fuel tank and, and, uh, pallet forks. And I used another one of those IBC baskets to build a little man lift, um, that really helps, um, as far as tree trimming out here. Yeah, I know everybody's going to say that's dangerous, but, uh, it's a risk I'm willing to take, I guess. Um, you know, we get up in that and uh, um, I put a chain on it to secure it to the pallet forks. And then there's a chain across the front just to keep me from <laughs> falling out. But, uh, you know, I know you could have a hydraulic failure and, and uh, have issues, but, uh, geez, that terrible. But uh, um, that is what it is. But uh, I would encourage somebody, you know, if you got a place like mine where you got a lot of trees, stuff like that you know to build something like that it was completely free um didn't cost me a dime other than maybe a cutting disc on my uh on my uh grinder but uh but yeah um hope i didn't bore you all with this uh but uh that's uh that's what i'm dealing with here um uh, that's what we're doing at the moment uh this weekend i plan on fixing that gate up and uh, fixing the fence up and and putting that all back but uh um but yeah i want to get these trees out of the fence line here this is yeah i keep making this video even longer but but uh i don't know if you can see it here so this we're standing on the other side of the trees um and uh this is on our property looking towards the neighbor's property and uh the trees have come over and especially right back here there's a bunch of them up against these trees right here that i need to get out of here um they're gonna kill these cedars but uh um it's a mess i mean too big for me to uh pull out by hand and you can see where it's already pushing this one branch down but uh, i need to get in there with the tractor and pull that stuff out of here I'm probably gonna ruin that fence too but uh, um, I guess it is what it is I gotta get it done so but uh, anyway um, leave some comments down below for me and and uh, give me a like and and uh, smash that uh, bell so that uh, you give uh, get get a notice when I put something new up and then uh, Make sure you subscribe too. Um, you know everything helps the channel, and and uh, you know I'm not one of those guys out to 
necessarily make money off of videos at least at this point you know but uh, um, you know there's a lot of guys out here that are doing the same type of thing that we are um, just trying to get out of the rat race a little bit still have a regular you know eight to five job um, but uh, um, this is what keeps me going you know um, get out here and dealing with the firewood and the animals and and uh, <laughs> it's my it's my happy place so um, but uh, anyway yeah um, it's good talking to you guys again um, leave me a comment and and uh, uh, smash that like button and and uh, subscribe all right we'll talk to you later thanks bye